after doing that click on the flight plan button and as you can see we already have the flight plan that we imported earlier but there is also a flight plan discontinuity which means that we have a gap in our route and that's because after the departure airport it doesn't know how to get to the next waypoint which is LAS so we need to insert our SID by pressing the departure airport on the left you will see your SID and on the right you will see your departure runway so use the up arrow to scroll down first select your departure runway and then choose your SID press insert and now you can see that the SID has been added but now we have a vector and then we have a flight plan discontinuity. The vector means that ATC will guide us after that. But if you're not flying a VATSIM or something like that, then you can just get rid of it. To get rid of the vector, first press the clear button and then press the key next to the vector. And then you can do the same with the flight plan discontinuity. So now there are no gaps in the beginning, but now you have to scroll down and do the same for the star. So press